You need to get so busy, so consumed, so obsessed with activity that you don't know about the celebrities that are getting a divorce. Like, who cares, man? Why? Because I'm too damn busy, dude. Your success is going to come from activity, from being obsessed, from being like so into it that you lose track of time. It is this type of determination that just happens to build tremendous confidence. Confidence in knowing that most likely your competitors are not doing the same sacrifices. Determination gives you that mental edge. Life is going to test that will every time. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. People think commitment is just saying, yes, I'll do it, because the environment is right and it's cute. But what commitment is, commitment is staying true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you have set it in has left. Meaning when you don't feel like getting up in the morning, you get your butt up in the morning, you do what you said you were going to do anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like sacrificing, you get your butt up and you sacrifice anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like being dedicated to it, you stay your butt dedicated anyway because you understand what the process will go on to produce later on in your life. And we have to get to the point where we're willing to impose our will on certain things. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. But it falls down to it, I'm a go-getter and I'm a flat-out go-getter. And nothing will not stop me from getting it. Enough may not be enough. 50 cars might not be enough. 120 might not be enough. I don't know. I'm just telling you that sometimes enough is not enough. And so what do you have to do? You got to dig deep and find more. It takes energy and it takes effort. That's all you need to do to be successful. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. I don't care what happened yesterday when you got up. If your dream ain't a reality, don't give up. Don't give in. I just want you to go a little harder. Put forth a little bit more energy. Give me a little bit more effort. But don't give up and don't give in. There's going to be some struggles. Are you hearing me? Without struggle, there is no progress. But I'm telling you, you can do it. You can make it happen. We have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice that we love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's that demon voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, get up, motherfucker. You're not good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be elite. They'll tell you they want to be great. But they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody, I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care what the situation. You can put it on your back and you're like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You're not at it, dog. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. You gotta do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, you gotta second the fuck up and do it. At some point in your life, give every single thing you got. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. It's not enough you ran a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Never do the bare minimum. Be different. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, it's been 550. You ain't the only one doing what you're doing. And there's some kid, and right now, he's trying to take your spot. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, I can't do no more reps, you said, I, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, 
While you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Knowing that that's someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. A lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life when they think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure that name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own a space. If you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. And oftentimes when you're going up against other beasts, sometimes they just want it more than you want it. They're not more talented than you. They just know what they're out there for. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to drive you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. In all times when you want to quit, you make sure you remember all those times, hours, and days you sacrifice to be the best. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've got to understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not going to outwork me, so I'm going to catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm not going to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part, because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you be. It's within you, and the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it, and they're willing to work their keen ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential, it wasn't about the genetics, it was about the perseverance, and it was about being the hardest working worker in the room. The journey is not easy. It's hard. It's hard to keep your spirits together. It's hard. It's uphill battle. It's the path less taken, not the beaten path that everyone else takes. It's a path that leads to character. You gotta earn that. But it's worth it. It's worth believing. It's worth fighting. You can do it. You can do it. It's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. 
the never say die attitude. We all fall down in life. The question is who gets back up? If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. Never give in to what you want. Adversity causes some cats to break and other cats to break records. It's about what you're made out of, not the circumstances. Every single one of you who is struggling right now, you need to understand this. What you're going through right now is necessary because you are forging the fucking skills. You are forging the determination. You are forging the grit. You are forging the fortitude. You are forging all the fucking things that nobody else is gaining because they're sitting on their hands and you're willing to push through. This fire you're feeling, this pressure you're feeling, this frustration you're feeling, this is what is going to make you into the weapon that will build the life that you are out to build. Character is defined on the days when you don't feel like doing what you once said you would do. When the outcome changes and it's not what we want it to be and it doesn't turn out the way we want it to turn out, do we still value the thing that we once said we value? Is our character still intact? Character is not something we inherit. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of uncertainty, we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight and we got to build it. It's about the sacrifice, the honor, the work, the commitment level, what you had to go through in order to get to this moment, being battle tested, the injuries, the blood, the sweat, the tears. Everybody can't respond and everybody can't recover. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you stand on, what you say, what it means to you. I'm talking every single rep. I'm talking every opportunity. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This shit for warriors, man. This shit for soldiers, man. Everybody's got a plan so they can hit in the mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked down on the canvas, when everything falls apart in your life, what the f are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay in hard. We have been conditioned to tell ourselves that our hardships are the reason that we can't be what we want to be. When in reality, the hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. If you had to choose between having a perfect upbringing and having an upbringing that was extremely hard, you should choose the one that was hard. I'm talking to you guys who still have hope, who still have the fire, who still still have the want and the will and the desire to be more and become more. I'm talking to you, mother You can do this. There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far. Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are, you are. You're still alive, you're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are gonna get harder, things are gonna get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested and how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. 
Don't stop running toward your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe that it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say when you no longer find the need to seek their approval it's done when the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you i don't care who you are life's gonna punch you in the face sometimes life will take you to your knees sometimes you have to cry sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself, whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself, whatever you need to do to overcome whatever you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up, you keep standing. No matter what. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms, rather than just gliding through every day on automatic. That you have a special power within that you know that things are going to get better for you. You know that you can handle this. And because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to decide that I'm going to go all out. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. Wrong you tested in life. Some of us later, damn it. I always find a way around the most. Family's in everyone. It's about keeping the motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. People who operate in darkness, they are relentless. They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f***. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those f***ing people, what they say to you. You gotta start arming your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. So if people talk shit to you, it doesn't f***ing matter. That's great power in adversity. If you're a victim of any kind, 
Make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in front of the camp. That's what builds self-respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're going to show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you are capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had a. You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stay in the race less when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch? How do you handle the times when you're borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated? How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement as somebody comes right after their worst defeat. When they hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they got nothing left. Everyone's giving up on them. They're dead broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the f*** out of this hole? It's at that point when everything's lost that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you, pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you have that belief that's so strong, that overrides the crowds and split, the adversities, anything, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds a title, has the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe. In order to craft a life that you love more than the life you have today, you have to start being a little irrational. George Bernard Shaw said, reasonable people adapt themselves to the world. Unreasonable people attempt to adapt the world to themselves. 
All progress, therefore, depends on unreasonable people. Most people are just sheep. They just follow what everyone else does. It happens everywhere. If you're not where you're supposed to be because you don't have what it takes, are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the ability? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the talent? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the opportunity? No, 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 no. What it boils down to is you're not where you're supposed to be because you average every single thing you do. Become a diamond. Your whole attitude change, your whole mindset, your thinking, your relationship, the decisions that you make, your energy, all of it changes. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. Continue to work, continue that course, believing in the worldly cause, the end state of it all, knowing that the pressures and the problems coming are welcoming. Those are the situations that are going to formulate and mold you into the person you want to be. Accept this as the reality. Sacrifice this day for the investment in the future. Greatness. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. You got to take that thing out, like, you got to take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You got to go get it. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. So many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed. Mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on. To barely feel like you're breathing and barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No, do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Fight your way through this battle. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. Fight your way through it. Fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got this far. If you was gonna quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know, after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles and you were made just for a time like this you know sometimes you get that feeling in life that things aren't going my way 
You hear people say that. Things aren't going my way right now. Listen, things just don't go your way. That's not the way the world works. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Go make things happen. Do what you need to do to get up. To make yourself get up and get going. And I know you just want to get five more minutes of sleep. Just five more minutes. And I'm telling you, no. Rise up and aggressively move forward down the path. Get yourself in the game. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and get after it. It doesn't matter how I'm doing. It doesn't matter how I slept last night. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter when the last time I ate. It doesn't matter. I don't care how you're feeling. And neither should you. It's actually not that complicated. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to eat the donut? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. Make the binary code decision, yes or no. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. If you're not consistently congruent, and if you're not consistently contributing each day, then of course you're not gonna be happy with yourself. It's that lack of daily consistency that ends up hurting our own self-esteem. Because listen, everyone can show up good or happy or joyous or nice or kind or give once in a while. But those who do it on a consistent basis because they demand that of themselves every day, those are the ones who achieve true confidence, true self-esteem, a true life of greatness. Even if you're nervous, you gotta do it anyway. Even if you're the first one in your family, you got to do it anyway. You got to just do it anyway. Why? Because the people that are living on purpose, the people at the top, they don't make excuses. They make a way. Like, you just got to do that. Like, with some people, it's like, if I'm not being encouraged, I can't make... No, even if you're not being encouraged, do it anyway. Even if you're not being validated, do it anyway. Like, can you just be faithful in the small things? Can you be consistent? Can you be persistent? Can you be faithful in the dark? Can you be steadfast? Can you be unmovable? Say it with me and say it like you mean it. I am determined, come hell or high water, to win. From this day forth, all I do is win. Start it, make up in your mind that you're going to finish it. And if you can get to a point in your life where you finish everything you start, you are going to be miles ahead of everybody else. I don't care how difficult it is, I need you to finish. I don't care how you feel, I need you to finish. I don't care if you feel defeated, finish anyway. Get yourself on the path to health, the path to happiness, the path to success, the path to freedom. And that path is the path of discipline. It is the way of discipline. Get on it and get after it. Discipline equals freedom. We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers. That you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened. But you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you. And you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is going to throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has 
a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again, defeat again and again and again, and every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. Fight your way through this battle. You have what it takes. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. What you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life because if you don't, nobody else will. You will fail. You will likely fail often. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times it will test you to your very core. It will not be easy. This is for those of you who are going through the fire. Those of you who are wondering, how can I keep going like this? Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. It's all right, but I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. You will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain, then they run away. But there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the price. They will do whatever is required to make it past this. I know it's hard. And I know it may look hopeless. But if you just keep pushing forward, you'll see how strong you truly are. When things are going bad, there's going to be some good that will come from it. Mission got canceled? Good. We can focus on another one. Didn't get promoted? Good. More time to get better. Didn't get funded? Good. We own more of the company. Didn't get the job you wanted? Good. Go out, gain more experience, build a better resume. Got injured? Good. Needed a break from training. Got beat? Good. We learned. Unexpected problems? Good. We have an opportunity to figure out a solution. That's it. When things are going bad, don't get all bummed out, don't get startled, don't get frustrated. No. Take that issue, take that setback, take that problem and turn it into something good. Go forward. If you can say the word good, it means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. It means you've still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage. 
and go out on the attack. I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best. I never stopped fighting. It got harder and it got harder and it seemed the further I climbed, the harder it got. But I didn't stop, I didn't quit. I just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. Don't let this world break you. You are stronger than what you are going through. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. So when life happens, I would just sit there and cry. I, I buck back. I buck back. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You gotta find something within, and that's gotta push you, and that's gotta elevate you, and that's gotta drive you, and that's gotta move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. Your ancestors got through so much more. We will be all right. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. It's an opportunity to prove what you're made of. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. By time, you go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with me. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight and you got to go get that fight. Life ain't going to be easy. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. You still got to go to work. You still got to compete against everybody in your industry. Life's still going to happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, when you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human, you got to get the job done. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. You have to understand that there's a journey that takes place in your career, in your life. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better.
is supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on is not an easy path. It's not for the ill-hearted or the weak-natured. It's for the strong people. And before you embark on this journey, mentally you have to prepare yourself for it. No one's going to get worse before it gets better. Throughout your journey, people are going to deny you. People are going to reject you. Your journey makes you want to cry. Your journey puts you sometime in dark places where you feel like nothing is going to do right for you. Nothing's going to be right. People are going to take you places that you've never been before through heartache, through pain, through so much shit to make you want to quit your journey. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. But if you didn't know that, you didn't prepare for that, you think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move free and further. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. It's up to you to push past the pain. Because on the other side of pain is glory. It's rejoicing. It's happiness. It's winning. It's succeeding. You gotta understand, with no pain, it's no progress. You don't go through something that you won't get nothing. And you choose whether or not that journey is gonna hurt you or make you stronger. I remember so many times I wanted to quit. I wanted to turn around. I wanted to say a stop. I wanted to go back and go back to what I used to be. You gotta push through that shit. You gotta tell yourself that no matter what, no matter what gets in my way, I'ma keep going. I'ma keep moving. I'ma keep winning. I'ma keep surviving. It's everything that you want because you went through that pain of that journey that felt like you wanted to just knock you down and say, you know what? You can't do it. Understand that it's gonna be trials and tribulation. They will have storms, but they will have sunshine after the rain. But that depends on you and how bad do you truly want it. Nothing in life will hold you back if you trust in yourself and you trust in the process. And at the end of this race, guys, you're going to be more capable. Through that effort, builds the character, the person you want to be at the end. Accept that. Pressure does most people in. The weight of what it feels like to want to be successful every single day, over and over and over. It's just too much pressure. People crack. You got to persevere. You must insist that this is going to happen. You got to get in there and keep fighting. You got to be constantly at it. Everybody got to develop some dog in them. You got to say, I'm going to hang in here now. I'm going to hang in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay with it no matter what. At the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance, the heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating. Just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Is a person a character that values who the f they are? There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'm giving it my all. It doesn't work that way. Everyone wants it, but somebody wants it more. Where does all the great sh that we have in our lives come from? It all comes from people who in the face of massive adversity decide that they're going to move forward regardless. They're going to make the thing that they want to happen, happen no matter what anybody says, no matter how many times they get laughed at, no matter how many times they get called crazy, no matter what, they are going to make this happen. We have the ability to make the choice to be the person who rises above the sh If you keep making the choice, to take the things that happen to you and turn them into good, productive things, there is no way that you cannot be successful.
None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all going to fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial. And trials are never supposed to be easy. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life. Because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up. And then you fail and then you get up. And that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith, and you can get knocked down and get back up again, and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed, but when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks are going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. The champions is not the potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up. Always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself, and other people will doubt you, and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You're still alive. You're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are gonna get harder, things are gonna get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested and how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let the 
nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running toward your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this and tomorrow will take care of itself. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say when you no longer find the need to seek their approval it's done when the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you